and welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be looking at why your community interest company should consider running um, some certified courses so getting CPD certification for your courses and the work that you're doing when you're doing your delivery of your programs in the community so I know lots of you are out there you're delivering fantastic education projects you're delivering skills and training to the community and these projects are fantastic and I know a lot of you are getting grant funding to run those but in this video, I'm going to be talking about why you should consider getting a CPD certification for that program, making it an actual certified course so you can actually say to grant funders and also attract contracts and other income because you have then certified that work that you're doing. So you're giving a certificate to your participants for that. And that can have multiple benefits. So I'm going to cover that in this video. So before I get into that important video, please hit the subscribe button for everything to do with community interest companies, grant funding and social enterprises. If you would like to know more about setting up a CIC, I've got my course, How to Set Up a CIC and Get Grant Funded in Four Months, over on my website and also the CIC Tribe membership. So the CIC Tribe membership is fantastic if you're looking to grow your CIC, get ongoing support, mentoring, learn things like this, like we're doing today about how to get contracts into your CIC. So we've got a wealth of information in there and also experts that you can book calls with. So do go and check that out. The link is in the description. So that aside, in this video, we're going to be talking about certification. So why am I covering this? I know lots of you, like I said, are running really impactful projects in the community. You may be running a job club, you may be teaching somebody skills in a certain art form, you may be doing youth mentoring and working with kids that are at risk of exclusion, you might be doing music projects, doing like, you know, like a peer-to-peer -peer music studio with young people. Many of you are also helping businesses and helping people start businesses and gain extra qualifications which will help them into work or starting a business. So lots of you are doing that work and you're doing a really good job at it and I can see so much value in what a lot of you are doing and one thing I would like you to consider and I've seen this with some CICs is to get some of that work certified. Now you might be thinking that's a massive undertaking but it doesn't have to be. So one of the leading UK bodies is CPD certification. So with CPD you can get a course, it could be an online course or an in-person course and you can get that certified. So the process would be you would design a course, you would subscribe as a member to them and they give you criteria of what kind of things they're looking for when they're assessing the courses. With that in mind you would design your course, you would then wait two to three weeks for them to assess it and then that course you'd be able to then market it as a CPD certified course. So that is a fantastic way for you to get courses certified. They do run quite a, a tight system of course they do have things that they look for when they're doing their assessments so you'll work with them and tweak your courses up but it doesn't have to be a particularly hard process definitely is a good idea if you've got quite a unique course you don't want to pick something that's in a very oversaturated topic but to be able to get your own and to be able to then deliver those inside your CIC is a huge game changer in terms of bringing income in now you might be wondering well how much does that cost so they've got different tiers so say you're only going to do two certified courses a year um, that would be around 750. If you're going to be doing five courses, that'll be 1,300 a year. So that's their membership. So you sign up as a member and then for as long as you're a member, you are able to then deliver that course with their CPD, which is their well-known logo and their well-known certification on it. So that gives you that credential essentially and that brand knowledge because everyone kind of knows what CPD is in the UK. So how could this be a game changer for your CIC? Well, I have known CICs do just this. They've gone and got their what they're delivering with their young people or whoever they're delivering it certified and then they've been able to get contracts. So for instance, say you're working with children in a school and you're working with the kids who are at risk of exclusion, the kids who are unlikely to get a GCSE. If you go to that school and say, I can give them a qualification, do a certified course with them so they still get a certificate at the end for their CVs, even if they're not not going to be able to get a GCSE at least they'll be able to get this you come in you do your sessions the schools will pay you because from the school's point of view they've got a group of kids who they know they can't put through GCSE for whatever reason so for you to be able to come in and offer a solution which still provides them with a certificate still provides them with that qualification then that is a huge benefit to them in terms of meeting their targets they will pay you to do that because from their point of view that's a small amount of money for the gain that they're going to be able to get 
because obviously schools are given money when they're you know delivering and obviously achieving their targets when it comes to getting young people their qualifications so you're filling you're solving a problem for that school so they will pay you they will give you a contract to be able to do that so i have known cic's be able to get contracts of up to twenty-seven thousand a year to be able to go into a school a day a week and deliver a qualification for those young people so that's the kind of game changer level that we're talking about we're talking about you being able to then be free of grant funding or just to be able to scale back the grant funding and be able to get in paid contracts instead this is a brilliant way to be able to grow your cic you can also start to franchise it then by bringing in other trainers so you can actually then go and deliver your program in more places so you can bring people in you can grow it so that's a great way to start to sort of franchise your cic and be able to take some of that work off of you in terms of delivery you can also sell these courses online so say you're doing an online course that you've certified you would be able to then charge for that online and that could be again a fantastic income revenue for you for you to be able to deliver online courses it means that you don't have to worry about paying a venue or anything like that because it's all online so that cuts your costs down you can also scale the amount of people you can have so instead of only being able to have 10 in a class you could have you know 50 in a class because it's being delivered online so it's going to be easier for you to let in more people that means you'll be able to earn more money from delivering the courses so it's a great way to get income online it's something that you could do maybe a few times a year so you did like a 12 week course so maybe you deliver that three or four times a year so you could have a promo stage where you uh, market it online you run some paid ads then you've got your people on and then you deliver the course so that is a great way to sort of pan out your year and think about getting in that other income and it's also fantastic in terms of impact so what you're delivering then to the community is better because they're able to walk away with a certificate they've got something to put on their cv so you're actually increasing the impact that you're giving as well to the community by uh, just spending that little bit of money getting that certification now you might also be wondering can i get that money for that certification covered in a grant budget well yes you absolutely could there's no reason why you couldn't do that say you did a community fund application and you knew that every year you're going to have to pay out 1300 for for your cpd you know qualification you could factor that in and add that into your grant budget so definitely you could put that in your grant budget you could also put in the grant budget that you're going to train up another couple of facilitators and then pay you to do that training of those facilitators as well you could add that to the budget you could then also put the money in the budget to actually deliver and give the certificates to people so that is something you could do in a budget but also you could then become free of the grant funding and also get contracts or other income. So I hope that was useful. If you'd like more information about this kind of thing, then definitely go over to my CIC tribe because we have loads of information about this kind of thing over there. If you've got any questions, jump in the comments. I hope that was useful.